Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle so what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game and as you can see we've already started here jim which player is best equipped for this game Tricky, but Karim Benzema. What impresses me about the Frenchman is his willingness to, to keep going for the team, even on days when it's not as fluid. And I think that has a knock-on effect, and it sets the tone for, for that little bit of extra grittiness. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Hoists it forward. Now it's Benzema, Lavernia, no efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good and they're not. Soric. Gets wrestled off the ball. Deftly done. Stop. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. skill there Vasil drives it forward Soric Lavernia out to the left it goes Roca Roca tries to head towards goal. Benzema has a goal! Goal! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal time. Oh, high quality goal, lovely first touch, something for a second. Madrid. And the first half is done. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But one that still had its moments. And ultimately produced just one goal. And a decent goal back to them. Well, hasn't exactly got the plan so far. There's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. Well, we're already into the second period. 
Germany need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Looks to clip it forward. Well, stitch defending, but that'll do. De Pablo. And it's played forward. He's through the middle. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. A really good feat. Chance to shoot! Urge to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. Madrid grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. <laughs> Ericsson goes looking. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. And it's Benzema. Lavernia, a scorer already in the game. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. Up for the header! Goal! Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, they've given them a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Vasil. Roca. Vasil, looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Manas, to Pablo. Aimed in towards the centre. And that's that. A fine advertisement for attacking football, a really entertaining game. So many talking points in a way, a shame anybody had to lose. You look back on the game then, Jim. Germany are looking at a touch fragile, Peter. Confidence looked well down, and they have to find some courage quickly now if they're to react. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Begden alongside me, and to wish you all a very good evening.